Okay, so something that I have learned over the years is that trying to teach yourself a specific skill or subject is really, really difficult. I love to learn and self-education is a big part of my life, but for the longest time, I kept massively failing in trying to teach myself the things I wanted to learn as I didn't have a proper system in place to actually manage the self-study process. It wasn't until after I discovered Notion, which is my all-time favorite app, that I was finally able to create a system that I needed for my studies that would help me actually progress in my learning goals. I was so happy when Doshin reached out to sponsor today's video because I literally use them for everything in my life, from managing this YouTube channel, to my fitness routine, to of course my studies. So today I am going to show you the self-study planner that I created using Notion that helps me learn anything that I want by helping me set goals, manage my courses, organize my notes, and more. If you'd like to try out the template, I am giving it away completely for free, so you can find a link in the description where you can just duplicate it into your workspace. All I ask in return is after this video, you go check out Notion by using my special link in the description. Now let's move on over to Notion and check out this template. Okay, so this is the template that we are working with. I called it my learning journal because this is where I write down all of the knowledge that I am consuming in my daily life. I've also included a cute little quote by Leonardo da Vinci that inspires me to keep learning and keep studying. You can of course change the quote to anything else that personally inspires you. So on the main page here, I have my study schedule with a calendar linked so I can easily see at a glance what I am supposed to be studying each day and I can also see if I have an assignment or an essay due that I have scheduled for myself to complete. I can also see if I am reviewing material that day or if I'm going to be studying something new. Right next to my calendar, I have a little section I have named Knowledge Vault because it is literally an accumulation of all of the knowledge I am consuming in my daily life. Then I have a simple view of all of my current courses, so whenever I open up this page to start studying, I can see, oh, I'm studying, you know, world history, and I can easily just open up and then start adding notes. And lastly on the front page, I have a simple habit tracker where these are all individual buttons. So if I start a new day, I can just click this. And then every time I complete a learning habit like study math or study Spanish, I can just click it and it will fill out a habit tracker database I have in my goals page. Okay, so that is the main page of my study planner where I like to just have the most important things front and center so it's easily accessible and easy to get started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually use the template by pretending I am starting a new course and I will go through the process that I always go through when I actually do start a new course. So how my learning process generally works is I will decide on a specific skill or subject that I want to learn and the very first thing I will do is actually write that down. So I have a skills page here where I can add any skills I want to develop or any subjects that I want to learn. So for example, if I wanted to learn physics, I could just type it in. And then I have a status property so I can see whether I'm not started on learning the subject in progress or done. And also add any information on the subject. I also have a relational property to relate this to a goal because the next step that I take in my learning journey is actually creating a goal to succeed in developing or learning this subject. So let's change this to in progress and head over to the goals page. So this is the goals page. Right here I have all of my learning goals. I like to be very specific in the goals that I write down. So for learning physics, I could say something like finish a physics textbook. And then I have a variety of properties that I can fill out, such as the start date. So we can say that's today. We can do the end date. So let's do three months from now. Just do the end. I can change the status. We'll say active since we are going to start it. Then I have more um, 
relational properties that we will go through as we progress in the template. The main one that you will probably want to look at is months. So you can assign the relevant months that you want to focus on this goal. So it is currently June, so I can do June, July, and August. And then of course we have a relational property to our skills, so we can just link that to physics. I've also included a little goal template here where it will fill out with a goal plan section. So you can write out how often you're going to study each week, for how long, where you're going to study, or anything else like that. Okay, so after I finish filling out my goal, the next step is to actually find the resources that I can use to self-teach myself this subject. So obviously there are a variety of ways in which you can go about learning a subject, but my favorite method right now is going online and searching up a curriculum or a syllabus for the subject that I want to learn as they generally provide a structured outline that I can roughly follow to help me learn it in a more structured way. Okay, so after I find a curriculum or syllabus for the subject that I want to learn, the next thing that I will do is go to my knowledge vault and open up the courses page. So here I have a database of all of my courses. Uh, this view, I can see all of my active courses. So since I am starting a new one, I can just add an entry and type in physics. Then we can open up this page and we have a variety of properties that we can fill out, such as a URL to the course. We can change the type to see where we are learning this. So we are getting it from MIT, so we are going to put that. We can change the date range. And I also have two relational properties, one for projects, which we will dive into in just a second, and one for goals. So now we can attach the relevant finish a physics textbook goal. I also have a really handy course template here that when we fill out, we'll create a curriculum page so you can open this up and add any of the relevant information from the curriculum or syllabus that you found. And then I also have a database for all of your course notes. So when you are actually going through the course, you can easily just add an entry, type in something like lecture one, and then you can add all of your course notes. And I also have a variety of properties, so you can add a URL to the specific uh, lecture or whatever, and you can change the status to note taking, highlighting, reading, or done. Okay, so that is basically the note taking process that I use for all of the courses that I am learning. Now what I want to get into is what I do while I am taking a course to supplement my learning. And that is by creating projects for myself. So when I am learning a new skill or subject, I like to create projects such as an assignment or an essay or even an actual test for me to take to push my knowledge further to ensure I'm not being lazy in my approach to learning this material and to make sure I am diving deeper and, you know, actually learning. So what I will do is I will go to the projects page in my Notion template and I will just create a new project. So generally I will get my ideas for the projects I create on the actual syllabus page that I find. They will generally have a bunch of recommended assignments. So that is what I will write down. So for our physics project, we are going to do a physics experiment. Which experiment? I do not know. But we have a variety of properties here that we can fill out. So we can decide on the deadline. I will just choose the 30th. Then I have a formula here that will calculate how many days are remaining until this needs to be complete which is very handy i have a select property to choose the type so we can say it is an assignment a status property and lastly i've added a little info text property so you can just type in anything that you need to know as to how to complete the this project or anything else so while you are going through a course or reading a textbook and taking notes if you ever want to see every single note you've ever taken without actually going and searching through all of these uh, individual course pages, you can just go to the notes page and you can see all of your notes or your recent notes or just course notes. Okay, so that is how I use this template specifically for when I am going through a course or reading a textbook. But now the last thing that I want to show you is what I do when I am actually writing down the information I'm learning from either books or articles or videos, movies, and so on. So let's just say we watched a really good video on how to be more productive and we want to take notes on it. So what we can do is we can go to our knowledge vault, open up the page for videos. We can add an entry name it, whatever the topic was about, so how to be more productive. We can link the video that we watched. And then most importantly, I have a property here that is a relation to my tags database. So 
This is the part of the template that makes searching for your notes and finding notes way more easy and makes this template way more discoverable. So basically I've created a ton of links that you can attach to the specific topic. So we learned about productivity so we can attach the productivity tag. Now in the future, if we ever want to review all of our notes on productivity, we can simply go to our notes page, go to our view by tag. And if we want to only see notes on productivity, we can just say tag contains productivity. And then we will, of course, only see the notes that we have taken on how to be more productive. And then we can open up the entry and see everything that we have written. And yeah, that is everything in my self-study planner. I hope that this template will help you in your self-studying as much as it's helped me. And I hope that this shows the value of having a good system for your learning. Feel free to duplicate this template. Again, it is completely free and definitely let me know of any templates you would like to see me build in the future. And if you have any suggestions for this template on how to make it better, then definitely let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out Notion. This app will seriously change your life and it is amazing. And again, I have a link in the description that you can use to sign up that will also help support me and keep the channel going. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you in the next video. Adios.